Hi guys! So this is a tutorial on how to cook crack. No, but can you imagine? Last night I autoclaved some media for begonias and for some African violets for some routine subcultures that I typically do every four to six weeks. If I seem tired today, that is because I had a YouTube collab last night that I'm so excited about, but one of the people in the collab actually lived in Australia, which meant it didn't start until midnight for me. <laughs> Right now, I'm going to take the media out of these pressure cookers and then I'm going to autoclave everything that's going to be underneath the laminar flow hood for the actual transfer process later today. Capiche? This is the begonia media. That was close. Welcome to the floor. Right now what I'm doing is basically just going through everything that I have on my shelves and just identifying what needs to get subcultured. The way I label these, I write the date, either like the type of plant or just something that lets me know what it is. And then I'll also write the hormone composition that was used in the media. From just the bottom shelves, here are all the begonias that we're going to subculture. Most were last subcultured either late July or early August, and it is now early September. So I ended up doing both begonias and then some African violets. The begonias were not large enough yet to separate the little baby plants from the actual callus tissue itself. So I just subcultured them into fresh media. I feel like there's a really bad glare on these glasses. A lot of the African violets were actually large enough to separate from the callus tissue. I put them into a rooting medium just to try to grow them a little bit larger. I had a ton of extra callus left over after I removed a bunch of the baby plants so I actually put some of the callus back into tissue culture with a really high hormone concentration to hopefully produce some mutations and maybe even create a new plant. These aren't much to look at but you can see well you can't see but there's callus tissue in these containers. I need these, I can't see. The other day I actually had such a good idea. I'm going to create a spreadsheet and then when I have protocols that work, I'm gonna put them in that spreadsheet. I would love it to be something that I could share with you guys and eventually, this is where the cool part comes in, I think it could be cool if it was like an open source project so that other hobbyists like myself could add things that have worked for them to it. It's a fresh idea. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's a little different than what I'd normally do. If you like it, let me know because I could easily upload like four of these a month. Um, bye.